Today we are going to learn about a very important term, solution. You can see three pictures in front of you. A glass of lemonade, soda and ink dissolved in water. Is there any common term for them? They can be called homogeneous mixture. Now, what's this homogeneous mixture? What is the solution? That's what we're going to find out today. Let's look at the definition of solution. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. But just reading the definition is not going to help you understand the true meaning of a solution. For a deeper understanding, we have to understand each term used in this definition. Let's look at this highlighted term, homogeneous mixture. What is a homogeneous mixture? We know that when combining two or more substances, a mixture is produced. But a homogeneous mixture is a type of mixture that has the same proportions of components throughout any given sample, which means it has uniform composition. Some of the examples are milk, saline solution and water. Let's come back to the definition of solution. I have a question for you. Are solutions only liquids? Remember the three pictures I showed you earlier? Do you think they are the only kinds of solution? Actually, it's a no. Solutions are not only liquids. There are solid as well as gaseous solutions. Air is a gaseous solution with different types of gases dissolved in it. For example, oxygen and nitrogen. Metal alloys are also solid solutions. Now, what are alloys? This seems new. Try to recall what you learnt in earlier classes about alloys. When one or more metals is mixed with another type of element, it is called an alloy. A solution has two components, a solute and a solvent. This solvent is the substance that dissolves the solute in it. It is usually present in larger quantities. A solute is the substance that is dissolved in the solvent. It is usually present in lesser quantities. Let's take the example of sugar solution. Can you name the solvent and solute in it? The solute is sugar and solvent is water. Let's come to the properties of a solution. We know that a solution is a homogeneous mixture. That is, it is a type of mixture where the components of the substance is uniform. The particles of a solution are really tiny. They are smaller than 1 nanometer, which distinguishes them from a colloid or suspension. When a beam of light is passed through a solution, the particles of the solution are not scattered as they are very small in size. The solute particles in the solution cannot be separated from the solution by filtration. Also, the particles don't settle down when left undisturbed. So, a solution is also called stable. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Hope you understood all that we learned today.